she was the person who would do anything for her friends, anything they needed. I never thought this would happen. You always see it on the news and happen to other people. These teenagers are saying goodbye. Three of their friends are gone. 18-year-old Kelly Lewis, 20-year-old Jason Dye, and 18-year-old Tommy Byington died in this very spot, a spot which has become a memorial. Just to remember them because they're all great people and it was just a horrible tragedy. A tragedy that most likely could have been avoided. All three kids were returning from a party. All three had blood alcohol levels twice the legal limit, including the driver. These kids say drinking and driving is an every weekend occurrence. They can get alcohol from older siblings, with fake IDs, at convenience stores, and at college parties. They say it's hard to be the one to take the keys. Friends are too worried about their other friends getting mad at them for taking their keys and not letting them drive. But then this kind of stuff happens. For these three teenage girls, the death of their friends is enough to change their lives and hope that others do the same. I don't care if it's just one sip of alcohol. I will not take one sip of alcohol and get behind a car or a ride with anyone who's been drinking and driving. I love, love you. you. I love you. I miss you. Be in my heart forever. I wasn't really sure what to say today or how to say it, but I know just as all you do that there's really nothing I can say to make any of your pain hurt any less. So I thought I'd just let you all know my thoughts today. I have a lot of mixed feelings. My heart is loving you. My soul is almost happy. Thank Kelly is peace now. I have seen Kelly at her best and at her worst, but no matter how she was feeling, she was always good with Kelly. I loved her like my sister and would have done anything in the world for her. My comfort is to know that her soul is on in all of us, in our hearts and our memories. But most of all, I pray that all of us have learned from this. We are not invincible. This could happen to any of us at any time. Please, please think before you put those keys in the mission. Can we pay the price for all of us? All of our death in vain. I can still remember exactly what she looked like when she was laughing. The smile that she had was one of the biggest things I remember about her. She just had a smile that would light up the room. It was just unbelievable. Uh, more damage than even myself I'm used to. Very heavy damage. Uh, the roof of the, the vehicle was torn off. Um, as I approached closer, I saw the victims of the accident. Um, and it's just a very helpless feeling to to see them lying there. Uh, we arrived at the scene and found uh, three occupants partially in and out of a vehicle, and all of them were deceased. The first one, we checked the body signs, and he was obviously dead from head and neck and uh, trunk trauma. These other two individuals inside the vehicle were crumpled up, and the only thing that was very identifiable was the red hair that was exposed and the body parts were entangled so much as you couldn't tell who was who. Uh, we checked vital signs at this particular time and there were none on either individual. And that's the, the perfect time that we have to call a corner, unfortunately. In my line of work, I see a lot of the results of teenage drinking and driving. And the hardest part of my job dealing with this is after we clean up the accident, is the fact that we have to go and knock on somebody's door and tell somebody's parents that you're not coming home. And as a parent, as a parent, you worry about that knock at the door. And we got that knock at the door, and I'll never forget it. I'll never forget those words. And that she was in an accident. 
and that she didn't make it. You could tell that the evidence of the strong smell of alcohol was inside the vehicle. It was a contained smell of alcohol and a mixture of blood also, and that's a distinction smell. But there's a lot of a lot of blood. You know, it's just the kind of thing that you see. I guess you'd see them in a horror story, as far as being dark, cold, and eerie, because that's the way that's what kind of that's the way it was out there. I've never seen an accident site like this in my life. So as soon as the accident happened, that's straight where everybody went the next day. There was flowers put there. I went there and brought flowers for her birthday. Um, I brought candles there. I love candles. She loves candles. Her mom loves candles. So uh, any candles that I found that were really pretty, I'd bring them up there and light them. Any candles that people left that would blow out. Don't let I'd like my friend Kelly's death be in vain. Learn from this. It's real. We are real people that really get messed up sometimes. Go hang out with our friends. Do stupid things. And this will happen. It does happen.